Having visibility of a network's health, efficiency, and service levels is crucial to network and services operations. NSP Assurance applications provide operators with the diagnosis and troubleshooting tools required to keep networks and services operating efficiently. This demo video introduces you to the NSP Service Supervision application, a powerful tool that enables carriers to actively monitor large numbers of services. By the end of this six-minute video, you will understand the fundamental capabilities of the application and see how it can assist frontline operators with the challenges of monitoring and assuring large networks. Service supervision allows you to identify service problems quickly and provides tools and navigation to troubleshoot and fix those problems as they emerge. Let's take a closer look at active monitoring using service supervision. Services are organized into supervision groups based on a logical principle, such as service type, geographic area, or customer ID. The groups are then assigned to a summary view that provides high-level visual cues when services in a group have problems. In a summary view, supervision groups are represented by tiles arranged in a grid. The tile color indicates the percentage of affected services in a group. Tiles are sorted at a specified time interval. Groups with the greatest percentage of affected services move to the upper left. A trend arrow shows if the affected services in a group have increased since the last interval. The tiles display KPIs for each group. You can expand tiles to see more detail and open a list of current alarms for the supervision group. Active monitoring of a summary view allows you to see at a glance when services in a group are affected. To investigate, you can double-click on the tile to open a list of the services in that group. You can filter the list of services using the filter drop-down and column headers, and you can sort the list. The operational state of sites, SAPs, and SDPs identifies service components that are down. You can also see if the service has failed recent OAM tests. From the services list, you can quickly triage the services that need your attention. The list of services provides quick navigation to service components. Double-click to open a list of sites, or hover on a service or site to access SDPs and SAPs. When you open a supervision group to see the list of services, the summary drawer appears. It shows a compact version of the summary view, so you can continue to monitor the other supervision groups in the view. Another continuous monitoring feature of service supervision is the watch drawer. You can add selected services to a watch drawer to access them apart from the groups and other views. You can readily monitor KPIs and trends on these important services. When you've identified a service that needs attention, you can apply troubleshooting tools and workflows. Let's take a look at the troubleshooting tools. The event timeline helps you recognize specific events and patterns of events that explain service problems. Events can be configuration changes, alarms, OAM test failures, or state change notifications. The timeline shows the sequence of events for a selected time range. You can filter the event types and configure a custom time range. You can select a specific event and view more details. A pattern finder helps to identify patterns in the event data. The alarm list is a critical tool for managing and investigating current alarms. You can filter and sort the list and access visual aids for root cause and impact analysis. From the alarm list, you can gain insight into the underlying issues that affect services and components. A list of historical alarms is available for services. You can choose the historical time period. To address the challenge of identifying the root cause of a problem, Service Supervision allows you to view the latest OAM test results for scheduled test suites on a service to see where failures have occurred. In addition, you can configure and view detailed analytics reports for a service and export the information in various formats. Analytics reports provide insight into performance issues. The Multi-Layer Map tool helps identify the layer that's affecting a service, using information provided by the VSRNRC. 
The map shows the relationships between links at multiple layers – physical, IGP, MPLS, service connectivity, and tunnels. To resolve an issue, you can open a properties form for a service and make configuration changes in its management application. This capability shortens the service monitoring and issue resolution cycle and increases operator efficiency. For service components, you can run on-demand OAM tests. When you select a set of sites, SAPs, or SDPs in a list, you can configure and run various tests on those components and view the results in real time. On-demand OAM tests help you identify problems and validate fixes on service components. These troubleshooting tools allow you to find and fix the issues that are affecting services on the fly. Toolbar icons provide quick navigation to service components and troubleshooting tools, allowing flexible and dynamic workflows. The Service Supervision application provides additional features to meet your needs. Customization lets you configure display preferences and thresholds, and you can copy or export information for sharing or saving. NSP Service Supervision functionality is also available using programmable APIs. The Nokia Network Developer Portal gives you access to REST APIs and Kafka notifications that provide all of the service supervision functionality shown in this demo. With these extensive capabilities, the NSP Service Supervision application ensures that you have the visibility, access, and tools you need to actively monitor and maintain your network services.